Mark, we're obviously in a lab. Can you tell me what happens in here? So we're here in the Open STEM teaching labs. This lab houses some of the items of equipment that students will use virtual versions of uh, whilst they study. Now you're a lecturer in biology, so you're very much interested in the health side of things. Tell me about the Open Health Laboratory. So the Open Health Laboratory is an online platform where students come and work on experiments, activities and use different tools as part of their health science qualification. So they could, for example, be coming here to look at human physiology, they could be looking at how cells and tissues work, or they could be looking at big data sets. So what kind of activities do the students do? So the students may well be coming to look at normal uh, organ function, for example, looking at hearts or lungs or kidney function, and then they then study how these go wrong in disease. They may also be coming to do quantitative work, so measuring molecules. They'll, for example, be measuring the level of drugs in, in blood. Um, and then they'll be also looking at how different genetics affect those levels of the drug in blood. And the other types of studies they'll be doing are looking at large data sets. For example, they'll be using data from tumours and asking how that can be used for disease prognosis. So we tend to call all of these activities um, interactive screen experiments. So you talked about very large data sets. Where do those large data sets come from? So the data sets uh, come from large publicly accessible data sets. Most of them are outputs of either big clinical studies or research studies that are made available for the public to use, for other researchers to use. So we can extract the data. We have specialist PhD students here on campus that are using these data sets as part of their own research. And then they've turned them into tools that we turn into accessible um, experiments for students to access. Can you tell me in more detail about the interactive screen experiments? So one of the reasons why we tend to have things like interactive screen experiments is, is because in biology um, it comes with a series of limitations which means we can't do live experiments. So these would be things like safety, there would be ethics around human participants, but also the fact that cells are living, they require specific types of conditions to survive, and most biomolecules are not stable sat in a laboratory like this. So our interactive screen experiments effectively allow students to interrogate these samples and participants without those individuals being present in the experiment. So they may, for example, be looking at a piece of tissue but that tissue, tissue is in a digital form on a microscope. They may well be looking at the function of an organ, but that organ has been rebuilt virtually uh, to allow them to interact with it. So in all those cases, they're using material which is recapitulating the real thing, but it's done in a virtual sense. So in terms of time then, how long do students work on these activities if it's big data sets? So it can depend upon the activity. Some cases they may only be looking at it for 10 or 15 minutes, but in other cases they'll do a more protracted study and maybe pull in data from two different tools. And those studies can go anything up to an hour or two hours. But it's much shorter than they would spend, obviously, because we've done a lot of the background processing so that the students are interacting with the data in a much more accessible form. Are there any constraints for the students? Do they have to you know, book a time slot or something? No, all of the Open Health Laboratory activities are fully accessible all the time. You can come in and spend as much time as you want to fit their study patterns. So effectively, they can also be used from anywhere in the world. I've accessed our activities from Death Valley, for example, and they work absolutely fine. So essentially, it's a 24-hour laboratory bench. Mark, I do love to see bits of kit. So do the students actually get to use these? Yes, they can come here for laboratory schools. They'll have done examples of interactive screen experiments with these items of equipment. They'll come here for three or four days and actually get their hands dirty, using the equipment, experiencing the practical aspects of science. But they'll also see these pits of kit in lab casts. Ah, how are lab casts different then from interactive online screen experiments? So a lab cast is a live streamed experiment that the students watch on screen. So it may involve a piece of kit. We'll set up an experiment and run it live. So the students will have live data that they can interpret and they interact with us in the studio by answering questions and sending data into us. 
So you've essentially created a whole suite of activities, some of which the students do from the from in the living room, their kitchen, on their daily commute. But they can also come in and get a real physical experience. That's just brilliant.